Hello Year 5, Mr Philpox again with your next math lesson. Uh, I want to start off with uh, another reference to TT Rockstars. Well done all of you for trying to get your speed up last week. Now I want to point out a different statistic. Currently, French primary school as a whole school, we are not even in the top 20 when you compare us to all the other schools in the area. Our current average speed is 7.12 seconds per question. Now, Year 5, I need your help. This week, if you can, can keep pushing hard with your times tables and try and get a little bit quicker, I'd really like to lower our average time in order to get French to at least into the top 20. Uh, and if not, the top 10 over the forthcoming weeks before the summer arrives. So that is your challenge this week alongside today's lesson where we are going to be doing something a bit more shape and geometry based because we are distinguishing between regular and irregular polygons today. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to just show you a couple of examples to make sure we are secure with our vocabulary. And this will also work as our step to success today. So at any point, come back to this part of the video. Okay, so on the screen, you should see a couple of shapes and they are examples of regular polygons. So a polygon is a shape with straight sides. If all the sides are the same length, the shape is regular. Regular shapes have equal sides and equal angles. If you look at the two examples, we've got an equilateral triangle, which has three equal sides. They're all the same length and the three angles are all the same size as well. So they are equal. And then on the right, you'll see a square which has four equal sides and four equal angles. At this point, if you could like to pause the video, can you have a look around your home uh, and see if you can find any other examples of regular polygons? You might find some squares, you might find some triangles, you might find something entirely different, maybe a pentagon, hexagon, as long as all the sides are straight, the same length, and the angles are the same sides, size rather. Okay, moving on, the alternative to a regular polygon is an irregular polygon. Okay, and as you can see, this is one uh, still with straight sides. However, if any of the sides are different lengths from each other, then we refer to it as an irregular. So irregular shapes have sides of different lengths and angles of different sizes. So this time, if you have a look at the images below, you will see scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, and a right angle triangle. The sides are different lengths, therefore it is irregular. Uh, and then on the other side, you can see the irregular quadrilateral. It's got four sides, but they are different lengths, and therefore the angles are also different sizes uh, in this example. So those are your irregular polygons. As I said a moment ago, come back to this point anytime you are unsure. So today, with that information in our minds, we're going to have a go at a few problems and then I will set you your chilly tasks uh, a little bit later on. So first problem we're going to have a look at together is I have got my cow diagram. Across the top, you can see it says regular polygon and irregular polygon. Then the left hand side, at least one right angle or no right angles. So the challenge that I want you to have a go at with me first is can we sort these four shapes you can see across the top the blue ones into the correct part of the diagram. So from left to right we've got a square, we've got a right angle triangle, an isosceles triangle and an equilateral triangle. Pause the video, go back to the step to success if you need to. You could draw this on a scrap piece of paper uh, and work out where you think those shapes are going to go. All right, hopefully now you've had a go and you can see uh, this is where the shapes are. So the square is regular and it has at least one right angle. In fact, it actually has four right angles. And then on the right at the top, you've got the right angle triangle. It uh, is a polygon because it's all straight sides. However, one side is different in length from the other two, as are some of the angles. Bottom left is a regular polygon, the equilateral triangle, all sides are the same length. Uh, and all the angles are the same size. However, it doesn't have any right angles. Remember, a right angle is 90 degrees. And then the bottom right, you've got the isosceles. This is irregular because not all the sides are the same length. 
and it has no right angles and in fact some of the angles are different in size to the others so well done if you put those in the right place if not now you've heard me explain it maybe have another go or see where you went wrong that's absolutely fine right the next little puzzle i want you to have a look at is this one here so developing our reasoning a little bit more so it's our explaining the maths uh, behind a problem so it's not just about getting the right answer in order to develop our understanding it's being able to explain how we get the right answer and why that right answer is correct and this then sets us up to solve more challenging problems later on so our reasoning is very important uh, when it comes to our maths learning so on this one sam says i've drawn a regular pentagon all the sides are the same length do we agree or disagree with Sam? Have a look at the diagram on her little clipboard there. Uh, is that regular? Is it a pentagon? Have a look. Can you write down for me now whether you think she's right or wrong and give a reason to back up why you think that? So yes, I agree because, or no, I disagree because, and it's, it's what comes after the because. It's really important. Pause the video while you do this, and then we'll have a look at an example uh, on how to explain this problem. So here we go. I do not agree with Sam. The pentagon is not regular because the angles are not the same size as each other. To be a regular shape, the sizes and angles must be of equal length and size. Hopefully you've mentioned the fact that it's not regular and you've took looked at the angles uh, and the length of the sides in your answer. Okay, well done. Let's have a look at the next problem today. So we're on to a Venn diagram. Now we have got one, two, three, four, five shapes. Are they all placed in the correct location on that Venn diagram? So on the left, we've got irregular polygon. On the right, shapes have to have at least one line of symmetry. Think about that part in the middle where the two overlap. So whatever shape goes in there has to fit both those criteria. And then the tr at the moment, the triangle is outside the diagram, which means by this example, it's not a regular polygon, nor does it have one line, at least one line of symmetry. So have a look. You might want to draw, again draw this out yourself. Are those shapes in the right place? If not, what sh will the, shape, the diagram look like once you have corrected it? And again, have that discussion, why do they need to move? Think about the properties of those shapes. Pause the video as before, and let's have a look at what it should look like. Hopefully, you've got something like this year five. So, as you can see, there's been a quite a little bit of, quite a little bit of movement uh, from the original example. And you'll notice there's nothing outside the diagram. Everything qualifies within the some of the or both of the criteria to be inside the Venn diagram. However, I'm noticing if you look on the left, the irregular polygon, currently there's nothing there. So year five, can you suggest to me what shape, what two dimensional shape could go here? An irregular polygon. You notice it can't have at least one line of symmetry, otherwise it'll end up in a different part of this Venn diagram. So an irregular polygon with no lines of symmetry. Have a little think about that. And it'd be really good if you could draw one and send that in to the year five email address. And we'll see what you can come up with. I'm gonna have a go at that one myself. Right, as I said before, if any time you're not sure, go back to the start, look at the steps to success to remind yourself what the uh, each part of the vocabulary means. And I'm just going to move you on now onto some chilies. So chili one, continuing to sort really. So we've got 2D shapes in the Carroll diagram. That is A to E. Can you put them in the correct location? So across the top, it says regular polygon and irregular polygon. Down the left, quadrilateral and not a quadrilateral. So if you remember, a quadrilateral is a shape with four sides. So not a quadrilateral is a shape that doesn't have four sides. And then the second part of Chili 1, can you write the name of a different 2D shape that is an example of an irregular quadrilateral in the correct place on the diagram? Okay, right, moving on to Chili 2. Chili 2 looks a bit like this one. 
Niall says this rhombus is a regular polygon because all the sides are the same length. Do you agree? So think about what we did earlier with Sam and a clipboard. Uh, yes, I agree because, so give your reasons, use the evidence in the picture. Or I disagree because, and as I just said, use the evidence in the picture to support your answer. And part B, is a rhombus always an irregular polygon? Explain your answer. So is, if it's always, it is always because, or it's not always because, then give your evidence to back up what you think. Really important skill, as I've mentioned previously. And then finally, Chile 3. Okay, this time, uh, Terry has sorted some polygons in a Venn diagram. What could the labels be? So what could the criteria be for A and B? And then noticing the shape in the middle would have to have both of those criteria, whereas the shapes in the top right and bottom right can't uh, fit either of the criteria. So I wonder what that could be. Second part, can you draw a different 2D shape to those shown uh, that could go in any two sections of the Venn diagram? So where, what could you draw then add to your diagram? And then finally for Chile 3, moving it up a notch with the Venn diagram, can you create your own Venn diagram with three intersecting circles to sort regular and irregular polygons alongside other properties of your choice? So you might want to think about symmetry, you might want to think about quadrilaterals, something to do with the angles as a criteria. That's entirely up to you, but can you make it work? And extra challenge, is there a shape that would fit into every section of the diagram you create? Or is it not, or is it the case that actually certain sections will not have any shapes in because it's simply impossible to do? You let me know. So good luck with this this week, year five. Uh, if in doubt, please continue to email us on the year five email address. And if you are doing really well and you've completed your ch your chili challenges, as I mentioned before, please continue to send those in. And good luck again for this week. And I look forward to doing another lesson with you soon.